All right, so we want to estimate the area under a graph using right endpoints, and you know you're not you're not going to find the areas like this because we got better ways to do it. But you know you might have to work one of these on a test that your teacher gives you. So let's look at it. So I mean it's really easy if you can find the area of a rectangle and you can add, then you should be able to do it. Uh, the main thing is let's draw a picture of it that makes a big difference so if we draw us a picture of this graph well that's just a parabola that opens upward and my graph is not a very good one something like that and we've got one two there's negative one. All right, so what we're looking for is this area here. Okay, we want to know what this area here is. All right, so they want us to use three rectangles, so we've got to break this up into three different parts. Okay, so first thing we'll do is we'll get the the width of the rectangle which that's delta X so delta X is this larger value here minus this value and then divided by however many rectangles you want so that's going to be 2 minus negative 1 over 3 which that's going to be 3 over 3 which equals one. So the width of each rectangle is one. So we're going to have a rectangle here and right here on the axis. Okay. So here's my three rectangles. One, two, three. And they want us to use right endpoints. So that means we'll come to the we'll come to the right point and draw us a rectangle. like this. And so what we need to do is we need to find the area of each of these rectangles and then add them up. Well we know this is negative 1, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. And I know that the width of each rectangle is 1. Okay, We calculated that here. So how do you find the area of a rectangle? Well it's the width times the height or length times width. Okay. So what we need now, we know the, the width of each rectangle, we now need the height of each rectangle. Well, what's the distance from here to here? Well, all that is is a y value. Okay, that's the y value. Well, how do we get that? Well, if we take the zero and we plug it in here for x, that'll give us the height here. And then if we take the 1, see, to get the height of this rectangle, we plug the 1 in, that'll give us the height of that one. And then if we plug the 2 in for x, that'll give us this y value, which would be the height of that rectangle. Okay, so we've got, we need to evaluate f of 0, which that's 1 plus 0 squared, which is 1. Then we need f of 1, which would be 1 plus 1 squared, which is 2. And then we need f of 2, which is 1 plus 2 squared equals 4. Okay. And by the way, this is right, right endpoints. I'll have some other videos, left endpoints and midpoints, so you can check those out too. All right, so now we've got the height of each rectangle. Well, so how do we find the area? Well, the area is, okay, so look at this. It's going to be the width of the rectangle times the height, okay? Well, the width of the rectangle we know is 1, okay? That's the width. And then what's the height of this rectangle? Well, the height, see, f of 0, that gave us the height, is 1. Plus, 
the width of the next rectangle times the height. Well, what's the height? We calculated that here. That's 2 plus the width of this rectangle, which is 1, times the height of this rectangle. Well, we found that here to be 4. And so that's what? 1 plus 2, that's 7. So the area under this curve from negative 1 to 2 is 7. All right. And just remember, the more rectangles you add, the more accurate your area is going to be. So check out the other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.